From Trexone's virtual studio to the world, with early access and behind the scenes for members, this is Trexone Plays. First officer's personal log, star date 55297.3. I had a close look at the Sovereign yesterday. It was beautiful, an absolutely colossal ship. It was my hope that a chance to serve on such a vessel would come with my new posting. But Starfleet has its reasons for assigning me as first officer on the Dauntless. With Captain Wright's experience and knowledge, I could have learned a great deal. Starfleet will surely feel the loss of such a capable officer. My new captain is just that. New. We'll probably be learning some lessons together. The captain spent a lot of time as a first officer, but has only been on the Dauntless for the last four months. From what I've read in the service records, I'm sure the captain will be a fine example for me. The bridge feels a little more social than I'm used to. It's understandable that the crew should feel comfortable with their former first officer in command. But respect and discipline should always be maintained on the bridge of a starship. And I intend to make sure they are. Dropping out of warp, sir. We have arrived at Haven on the edge of the system. Shall we continue in toward the Geki colony? Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. We have arrived at Vesuvi 5, sir. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Your orders, Captain. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Entering standard orbit. Shall I hail the colony, sir? Hailing frequencies open. Incoming transmission from the Geki colony, sir. On screen. Better late than never, Dauntless. It's a good thing that most of our facilities are below ground. It saved us from the brunt of the Vesuvi event. Now that you've arrived, I'll transmit the coordinates for your teams to beam down to. I have the coordinates for the colony, sir. Ready to commence beam down operations. Transporter rooms two and three report all supplies and relief teams have been transferred to the surface. That will do, for now. I shall contact you if our needs should change. Thank you, Donalus. Takahara out. Sir, we are receiving an emergency transmission. It's pretty garbled. I'll boost the power to main comm array. That should clean it up. This is the Cardassian freighter Karu. A Romulan vessel has attacked us. We have sustained heavy damage to our antimatter containment pods and are operating on emergency power. Please acknowledge. There's too much subspace interference to open a channel at this distance. The signal appears to emanate from the edge of the Beol system near Beol 4. Shall I set course? Captain, we must respond to this distress call. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Leaving orbit. Arriving at Beol 4, sir. Dropping out of warp. The Karoon is signaling, sir. Audio only. We are taking heavy damage. Lost the signal, sir. Their comm array may have been yes, damaged sir. in the attack. I'm Red reading alert, two unknown up. contacts in this system, Captain. Your orders, Captain. Intercept course plotted. Resolving. It's a Cardassian freighter and a warbird, sir. The warbird is towing the Karoon toward the system's asteroid belt. Why the asteroid belt? The asteroids would interfere with her communications. She wouldn't be able to send out another SOS. The Romulans could take her apart at their leisure. Yes, sir. 
We are being hailed. On screen. Ah, you again. Captain Turen, stand down immediately. You are attacking a ship protected by interplanetary law. So the law protects Warbird Cloak. does it? The treaty signed at the end of the Dominion War forbids the rearming of Cardassia's military. Scan them yourselves. I have no more time to waste with you. Torren out. The Karun is drifting toward the asteroid belt. Her engines are still down. Sir, I'm getting a weak signal from her. Audio only. Federation vessels manage to patch communications. Emergency power is fading. We're coming, Moving Karun. with tractor beam Hold range on. of the freighter, sir. I can't detect the warbird. We should bring the Karun's speed to zero. Otherwise, it may drift into another asteroid. Tractor emitters at full power. Engaging tractor beam. We have the Karun in tow. Incoming message from the Cardassian Gull, Captain. Captain, we are happy to see a Federation ship. We were making a supply run when the Romulan vessel ambushed us. We have been able to transfer power to our life support systems, but unless we get main power back online, we are not going anywhere. We've taken damage to our deuterium supply valves and our antimatter containment unit. Sir, we could send a team over to assist in the repairs. That would get the main drive back online. We are happy to accept the materials you offer, Captain, but we do not wish to inconvenience you too greatly. We can make the repairs ourselves. Warbird uncloaking, sir. They're firing on us. She cloaked again. I'm projecting her course into the asteroid belt, sir. Yes, Captain? She could be using the larger asteroids for cover. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain? Initiating scan. Running a standard scan on her, Captain. Results, Commander? Warbird on cloaking again, sir. I can't read her. She has a dampening field over her hull. That's odd. Are they hiding something? Perhaps Romulans know something we don't. Warbird uncloaking again, sir. Warbird uncloaking again, sir. Target hull integrity at 75%. They're 
left shield is draining, Captain. We are being hailed. On screen. Excellent! You managed to drive them away. They'll think twice before preying on another helpless Cardassian freighter. They took some heavy damage, sir. I detect no other vessels. The area appears to be clear. Sir, may I ask your ship's cargo and destination? Relief supplies for an outlying outpost. The Federation was not the only one to suffer in the Vesuvi event. Very well. Good luck on the rest of your journey. Thank you for your assistance, Dauntless. We can continue with our repairs. Karoon out. So why the dampening field if it's just food and medicine? Maybe it helps keep the food yes, fresh. Yes, sir. I find it hard to believe that the Romulans would attack a freighter filled with relief supplies. I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress. Admiral Liu is responding. Good work defending the Karoon, Captain. The Romulan actions in this region have been erratic. We are unsure as to their motives. It is possible that they are acting on intelligence unknown to us. In the meantime, I have an urgent assignment for you, Captain. Starfleet Intelligence has received information regarding Ferengi vessels smuggling contraband to the Cardassians. Several suspicious activities have been reported in the Ceres system. Investigate. Try to keep it discreet. And find out what they're up to. Liu out. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Captain, we can't go to warp while inside an asteroid field. I have created a nav point to get us out of the asteroid field. Your orders, sir. Yes, sir. Intercept course plotted. Captain, intercept course plotted. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Approaching the Ceres system, sir. Dropping out of warp. Long range scan, sir. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. Something there. Hard to read at this distance. Near Ceres to... That's all I can get now, sir. If we keep our weapons and shields offline, it will be much harder to detect our ship. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Perhaps we should move further into the system. Approaching Ceres 2, sir. Scanners indicate three contacts in stationary orbit at Ceres 2. Sir, should I conduct a scan of the area? Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. I'm reading a Ferengi Marauder, a Cardassian Galore, and a Keldon. Starfleet Registry identifies the Marauder as the Kravis, sir. Can they detect us? Not unless they can read us through a gas giant, Commander. We're out of their standard range. Unfortunately, we can't pick up any communications between the ships. There's too much interference from the gas giant. Even with shields and weapons offline, we'll still need to keep about 200 kilometers between us if we want to avoid detection. We could retreat behind the moon and eavesdrop from there, sir. Your orders, Captain. Yes. 
Yes, Captain? We are ordered to investigate the reports of Ferengi smuggling in the Ceres system. Yes, sir. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. We're clear of the gas giants, sir. They can't detect us with their sensors at this range. Can you read their communications, Ensign? We'll have to boost the sensor system, sir. Your orders, Captain? Entering standard orbit. Better now. Much better. Audio only, but I can put it on speaker. Informed you have great need of this equipment for your military. Surely you have no difficulty in understanding the old law of supply and demand. We have a contract. You will notice there is a forfeit clause. Forfeit? Your life and your ship. If we do not get our ship missing. Coming right up, Gulf. Record the rest of it, Ensign. We'll review it later. Equipment for their military. They're forbidden to upgrade their ships or technology. Not without Federation knowledge. Hence, smuggling. Sir, the transfer has been made. The Cardassian ships are leaving. Captain? We should try to avoid detection, Captain. They've gone to warp. The Marauder is still on impulse power. It'll take them a few minutes to be up to full warp capacity. Shall we engage the Marauder, sir? Yes, Captain? Red alert, shields up. Your orders, sir. Intercept take us course, out, Ensign. Plotted. Leaving orbit. Your orders, sir. Intercept course, plotted. The Marauder spotted us. She's increased her speed, sir. Guess he doesn't want to get caught. Sir, do you want to disable her? Captain? Engaging to disable, Captain. Yes, sir? Marauder is firing back. Captain, Shields are holding. The Marauder is sending out a distress call to the Cardassians. We have to shut her down fast, sir. Moving into attack range. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Your orders, sir. Attempting to hail the marauders, sir. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. They are not responding.
That's it, sir. Both her warp engines are offline. Hail the Marauder, Ensign. Marauder, this is the USS Dauntless. Identify yourself. Yes, Dauntless. You have damaged us for no reason, and... Get him on screen, Ensign. Oh. Yes, greetings, Captain. Damon Prague in command of the Crave is here. Doing a little business, were you, Damon? A female speaking to me. Captain, it is insufferable that I, I am a Starfleet to... officer, Damon. You've just violated about 20 Federation laws by aiding a former enemy. What would Nagus Rom think of that? Now, what was your business with the Cardassians? This was a simple transport contract. I, I, I picked up a cargo and delivered it. Just that. What was the cargo? Truly, I do not know. Oh, please don't tell me you didn't peek. What was it? Very tightly sealed. I... I couldn't open it. it. It was a plain container. There was nothing to even hint at the contents. Truly. How about an educated guess? Captain, the Cardassians have come back. They heard his SOS. Position? Edge of the system. Coming fast. We will continue this later, Prague. Yes, sir? Hailing frequencies Coming are... under fire, sir. Didn't we just save their freighter? What's going on here? They are not responding. Incoming transmission. They're firing at us! Dauntless, you must protect us until we have warp capacity. Captain, we have collapsed the bottom know. shield. Please, Dauntless! Integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 25%. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Collapse the bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sir, we're about to collide with a large mass of debris. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Captain? Hailing frequencies open. No response. They're turning away. Their warp engines are engaged. They've warped out. Damon Prague is signaling. On screen. Dauntless! I thank you for your protection. Interesting. Especially since you called for the Cardassians to come back in the first place. Clearly an error on my part. I must apologize. I apologize. We part on a friendly basis, do we not? Friendly? That depends on what you delivered to the Cardassians. Ah, oh, well, um... I received a shipment from a trader near the neutral zone. The Cardassians were most anxious to get it. It's some piece of equipment they do not have. Perhaps they're not allowed to have it. They were concerned that my ship not go through any Federation inspection point. And of course, you didn't. My course didn't take me near one. 
It happens. I'm sure it happens frequently with you, Daemon. Expect a financial levy on your profit from this venture from the Grand Nagus. I doubt he'll be happy with you once we inform him of your activities. Dauntless out. I'm sure he had more to say. Pity we won't hear it. The Marauder's warp engines are back online and powered up. Very efficient repair crews, I'd say. Kravis is warping out. We've gotten all the information we can here. Reporting our status to Starfleet. Captain? Your orders, Captain? Stand down weapons. All stations, yellow alert. Admiral Liu is responding. Routing to the view screen. Hello, Dauntless. I've sent your transmission on to the intelligence experts. An open attack on a Federation vessel is a serious event, but may only be the action of a small faction inside the Cardassian military. Which brings me to your next assignment. We received garbled signals from Klingon and Cardassian ships resupplying at Biranu Station. It appears the Klingons and Cardassians are on the verge of open conflict. Captain Picard has asked us to send a Federation starship to help defuse the situation. Yours is the only ship close enough to respond. We lost contact with the station shortly after they transmitted their distress call. Considering the Cardassian attack on the Dauntless, I am concerned for the well-being of the station. Proceed to Biranu immediately. Liu out. Standing by to change course, sir. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. 